I say I love doing what I do, and I think that is the case for most of these adjuncts, because surely we can't make a living doing what we're doing. And we are just asking for a voice with the administration. We, unlike all the rest of the folks in the United States who are participating in this national walkout day, and the ones in Canada as well, are walking away. I know our colleagues at George Mason and a lot of the other big institutions are doing that. We're not abdicating our responsibility here. We're here because we care. But we are asking for, and we believe that we are going to receive, um, the opening of open talks with the administration so that heretofore we will have a voice. At this point, it's 41-42% uh, of the faculty at Old Dominion uh, are adjunct faculty. Uh, and what that means is we're part-timers, uh, we have low pay, uh, our working conditions are, are such that I mean, we, we would like to have conversations with upper administration about ways that we could improve them. I am a graduate student here, and I'm here not only to support the current adjuncts, but because statistics say that once I become a professor as a woman, and as a woman with a family, I'll be resigned to adjunct work. And currently adjuncts are paid lower wages, we're expected to do the same amount of work as tenured professors, regular lecturers, uh, research, advise, be involved in and they're not compensated for their people work. Uh, but outside of class, you know, you're grading papers, right. you're meeting with students. So it's, it's pretty much a full-time job, really, when you have three classes. Uh, uh, so, um, you know, it, it is work. It's good work. I do it because I love it. Um, don't do it for the for the money and don't do it for the benefits, obviously. Right. But uh, but I do it because I'm passionate about teaching. Uh, but I think I think university could certainly give us basic health care. And I'm just like, and uh, how many hours a week would you say you devote to doing that? So how many hours do you two personally work? Do you want to start? But I will say I spend four times three, 12 hours in class. I spend another minimum of six to nine every week in my office meeting students. But I would say that I stay online responding to student blogs, emails, and other queries, um, and then grading fully another 20 to 40 hours any given week. Well, I teach three classes. Um, last semester I taught at Tidewater and at ODU. Um, you know, you're only paid for the time you put into class. You're not paid for the time that you do outside of class. So you're paid for one hour of office hours. And yet, I meet with my students more than that, more through that, throughout the week. I'm not, um, we're not paid for how many hours you put into grading, uh, a paper grading. Uh, if you times that 19 students per class, per um, how many classes you teach, how many papers you have, I have 57 students right now. and. That's a lot of time out of class. It's more than, honestly, I feel like I don't, I start my day at 6 a.m. I don't end till around midnight every day. And if you're like me, yeah, papers are about 15, 20 minutes a pop. Mm -hmm. um, and then that's, that's absolutely something that we, uh, we would, I, I mean, I would love to, to make this my full-time job. I would love to be present full-time. Uh, part of the, the, the reason that we're doing this is to help uh, create situations in which adjunct faculty can devote their full attention to the students that they mm -hmm. have. Uh, I mean, the system is set up right now. We're, I, I believe Melissa mentioned, paid by the course. Uh, we're incentivized to pick up as, as many, many classes, <laughs> as many as we can. Adjuncts often do this across many universities in a town. Um, and, and really what that means is for every class that we pick up, for every course or, or, or part-time job, even outside of education entirely, every part-time job we pick up, that's less time for the students that we have. Uh, I would love to give them my full attention.
Um, but I just want to say that your voices are being heard. Please continue. Ring the bell. President Roderick and I are, are absolutely delighted to meet with you and whoever you want to have a group. And we'll arrange with Chandra de Silva, Vice Provost for the Faculty, um, to get a meeting with uh, Chandra and myself and the President and whoever can, can join to, uh, to hear your concerns. And, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, and I, I have to say that from the university's perspective, we really appreciate the approach that you've taken, which is, I think, a, a good one. And we hope we can be supportive. So, thank you very much. Thank you.